Alright, it's time for another math. Easy. So let's never discuss. So uh, we'll do derivative of an exponential uh, functions like a of x, and uh, we'll use the definition derivative. So you can see my other video on definition of derivative. Yeah. So basically, the derivative of the of would just be f of f prime of x would just equal to limit limit for us h approaches zero of x f of x plus h minus f of x over h. And basically, it's just a slope, and uh, you can see my other video on it. But um, so let's let's do use the definition derivative on this. So we'll get f prime of x equals limit as h approaches zero of this is f x plus h. So then we'll just get a x plus h minus f of x a to the x divided by h. So if you see my other video on these uh, power on uh, these exponential laws and whatever, you could you could break this apart into yeah. So you could just write this uh, simplified as limit h goes to zero. This one would just be a to the x times a to the h. Yeah, you could do this. I have um, you see my other video on this on why you could do that. So then you subtract a to the x over h. <coughs> Again, you could uh, simplify this a to the h. You could take the a to the x out. So you'll get a to the x bracket a to the h minus one over h. So now you could uh, since this doesn't have an h inside, you could just take it out of the whole this whole limit. So you just go a to the x because it doesn't it's, it uh, doesn't uh, like the h doesn't affect it at all. So just take it out zero, and then this is a to the h minus one divided by h. So now this is interesting. What you got here? So this one is interesting because if you have, let's say, at x equals zero, then f of zero would just be if you use the definition again. This would be a or limit. Yeah, limit as h. Uh, this would just be a x plus h. X is zero, so this is just h minus. Yeah, then this one would just be minus f of zero. And this would just be minus f prime of zero over h. But notice in exponential functions, uh, zero, yeah, a to the zero is always one. You can see my other video on why it's that. So this one is just equal to one because, well, let's go a to the zero. Let's write it down here. A zero, this definition is, um, yeah, it's one. Or if you go three to zero, etc., this is just one. This is by uh, definition. You can see my other video on it. Yeah, so basically, this would just be limit h zero of a to the h minus one over h. So then, in fact, this this whole thing, this is just a derivative of yeah at zero, so f prime zero. So then, so then for a to the x. Yeah, so if we summarize all this, so at uh, for f of x equals a to the x, the derivative is just f prime of x. It's equal to a to the x, which itself, and then times f prime of zero of it. So then it's a derivative uh, at zero. So it basically, it equals it itself times the derivative of of itself at zero. So yeah, this is, and this one's actually useful uh, when we look at the letter E. Uh, letter E, I'll do another video on letter E, where f of 0 equals 1. And this is, this is a special letter. So I'll do another video on that. But yeah, this is a, a quick, um, using definition derivative, we got f prime of x equals this. So if you were to do, let's say, an example, let's say f of x equals 2 to the x. So here, uh, we're actually just going to get, yeah, so then if you do derivative of it, this will just be 2 to the x, and then this one's going to be times limit h approaches 0 of 2, yeah, 
of 2 to the h minus 1 over h. And then I'll show you my uh, later video that this actually has a limit. This uh, limit is is equal to what is it? It's uh, it's around yeah it's roughly point six nine yeah three etc. So it actually has a limit. I'll show you how in another video. So then if you were right, this would just be f of x equals yeah point let's say just point six nine times two to the x. So that is the, pr the derivative, then you put whatever inside. So something like that. And, and then you'll see the importance of E later. Well, that's uh, it for today. Hopefully you learned um, the derivative of exponential functions. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.